Earlier this week, we brought you keeping your pet healthy with home checkups. But what if your method of treatment is actually harmful rather than helpful? Tonight, Melinda Lee investigates pet poison in disguise. This is my family. This is my baby. Patricia Dahl says she's heartbroken watching her furry family member Tucker continue to suffer. You can just see when you touch it how he blinches it. It's just wrong. Dahl says her 12 year old poodle mix went from this to this in just two days. He was just basically miserable. He was walking really funny and his back was humped up. And she says this flea and tick medicine is the culprit. They need to take it off the market. That is poison. That is dangerous. Dahl says changes to Tucker's body began within hours of applying the flea and tick remedy. She put the correct amount on the dog, so she didn't do anything wrong. Um, but his reaction was a, a severe, it's described as a pins and needles sensation on the skin. So he was very irritated on the surface where it was applied. His skin was red and very sensitive to the touch. When I had already called Sergeant's Gold, I had already called the manufacturer that morning, first thing. Colorate also reached out to the medicines manufacturer and has yet to receive comment, but Dahl says she does have a case number and hope that Tucker's battle may save other families the same pain. If you have to worry about putting something on your animal to protect them, and this is what it does to them. No, that it could hurt or possibly kill our little guys. If, I mean, if anything happens to him beyond this, I can't handle it. In Billings, Melinda Lee.